So while you were deciding whether to have turkey or stuffing, South Dakotans have been thinking about mandating medical cannabis education to dispensary employees. My headline today is from Inside Higher Ed, South Dakota College Proposes Cannabis Education Requirement by Katherine Palmer. South Dakota voters approved medical cannabis in 2020, but the industry still has critics. Can an education program for cannabis dispensary workers improve the industry's credibility? Benjamin Valdez, Vice President of Academics at Southeast Technical College in Sioux Falls, presented the preliminary idea to the state legislators uh, medical Cannabis Oversight Committee earlier this month. The proposed certificate curriculum would include courses on medical cannabis laws, pharmacology, ethics, compliance and dispensing, and a capstone where students would demonstrate their knowledge in an industry setting. Valdez told the committee, if we are to ensure the safety of citizens of South Dakota and of this narcotic as it's being dispensed in the form of medication, we are advocating that we look at some form of education for these individuals. Valdez said that as far as he knows, South Dakota would be the only state to require formal education for dispensary workers. Currently, the state's administrative rules require all dispensary employees to receive training on record keeping, safety, and security protocols, but don't specify further training requirements. According to state data, there are more than 12,000 registered medical cannabis patients and more than 90 dispensaries in South Dakota. Though voters approve medical cannabis, Governor Kristi Noem has characterized cannabis as a social ill and opposed any form of legislation. Voters also approve recreational cannabis, but Noem authorized a lawsuit arguing nullification of the recreational cannabis amendment because of the state's constitution requires addressing only one subject at a time. Valdez has no position on whether the state should approve recreational cannabis, but is more concerned about educating the industry and the public. Through education, we can ensure that we have those best practices and safety components in place. Uh, lawmakers questioned the logistics of the educational requirement. How would the education be delivered? And would dispensaries be temporarily shut down as its employees earned the certificates. Valdez told the committee that his college has the capacity to teach the courses in person, hybrid, or online, but deferred to the legislators on whether the dispensaries would need to shut down as its employees took the course. Char Gamble, CEO of Emerald Con Consulting, is supportive of the concept, but has concerns that the training curriculum might require too much time to complete. Kittrick Jeffries, owner of multiple dispensaries in the state, is also concerned about a backlog of employees needing certificates prior to hire. Jeffries feels medical professionals should be required to take the training rather than the $12 to $18 eight entry level employees. There's a lot of nuance in helping patients and finding out what products best fit their debilitating conditions, but that relationship goes back to their doctors, he said. Higher education should never be mandated for entry-level staff. California's Oaksterdam University offers more than 25 courses on various aspects of cannabis and the industry. However, the courses are not mandated in California. Over the years, the focus on medical cannabis has dissipated as adult use recreational laws limit dosage, raise taxes, and make cannabis less accessible to the medical patient. South Dakota is considering a proposal to legit legitimizing cannabis by mandating education. Is this a good move? What do you think? This is Dr. Jean Talleyrand with High at Nine News. Well, I, and I think Dale could speak to this the best. I think a lot of it depends on who you're going to have as the educators that are going to teach these programs and really, really educate um, what's real and what's not. They were describing what we already do. Uh, have I mentioned the bartender's guide? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think that education what? is crucial, but shutting down businesses over something that is, 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 is honestly not that dangerous, I think is a bridge too far. So yes, some level of education. I am surprised California has not mandated. They are not the first. Uh, Utah requires it. Um, Maryland, there's several that require it. Uh, but it's, um, 
Yeah, I appreciate the name drop in the article. We would be happy. Shout out to my husband, born and bred in South Dakota. So uh, trusted. <laughs> yeah, more power to him for for recommending education. What I'm looking for here is the basics uh, to maintain public health and safety. Mm -hmm. Just like food service, it's this is more about people understanding proper handling, wash your hands after you touch your ass kind of stuff. Like this is just basic food safety um, and, and recommendations around not over consuming, especially when it comes to edibles, which I feel are probably the most dangerous for novice consumers and those around why, them. Why, them why has that not happened here in California? Yeah. Great question. Great question. Well, you uh, it can't happen at universities unless they have a Schedule One license. If it's a plant touching thing, they need a Schedule One license, and then all the weed has to come from the University of Mississippi Schwag Grow. No, whoa, whoa, whoa! You don't need weed to teach. Don't be a dumbass, though. Like you don't need. Right. Actual I'm just cannabis. saying, if you're looking to teach plant touching and you know horticulture and production and extraction and analysis. And all the business stuff that Dale's referring to, but um, but that all shouldn't be required, right? That's the medical. Right. Or that's the market deciding. You know how how much do they want to invest, and in, and what kind of PhDs do they want to hire, depending on on what they're. Yeah. So my my story from last week was Minnesota, and what they promised that they can do in Minnesota is actually do testing on products that are currently available in Minnesota. So it'll be interesting how much they could push that limit in terms of education. Yeah, this is a public health, health a safety concern. It, uh, it's not to benefit the industry, it's to benefit the patients or the consumers, right? Whether you consider yourself a patient or not. And that's what needs to be cautioned. I mean, we are seeing increase in people coming into emergency rooms, especially elderly. This is what we're trying to prevent as an industry uh, and as a society. And so it, it's, you know, some basic education might do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and the good news is, is most of the, even though there's an increase in reported in the emergency room that they're walking out afterwards, unlike many of the other drugs that put people into the emergency room where they have you know, whether it's liver, intractable liver damage or other problems from that overdose, uh, that is, um, it's good that we're able to finally be honest uh, with the medical profession um, and, and not just get tossed in jail for having used it. Um, yeah, the per se criminality. You know who I really wonder their thoughts on this whole thing? Because you said this is South Dakota, right, Dr. T? That's right. I want to know what Governor Christy Noem thinks about this. I hope to talk uh, she, to her. Let me put that in the universe. Hi, Christy. Yeah. I'd love to chat with you. Yeah, we would. Yeah, love maybe to she chat. maybe she can call on her good uh, her good trusted advisor Herschel Walker. He can fly out there and give her some uh, fact about <laughs> the <that>. article <laughs> says. Uh, by someone. The article says she considers it a social ill. Cannabis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah she's yeah, not no, a I fan. Know she does. I know she does. That's why she I'm wondering what fan. she thinks about this. Yeah. This is a gift from God, Christy. Don't question. This is a that's gift from God. It is man that made this illegal. It's probably yes. Democrats, as a matter of fact. It was. It probably was. I agree with you on that. <laughs> Mad ill. Mad ill. Yes. All right, Rico, you ready? Are we ready? Yep. Let's keep it rocking. Let's roll. So this 